Hello everyone, this is Marcy from The Scribbled Word. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a flip through for you. Um, this is actually a flip through of a journal that I completed um, about a month and a half ago. Um, I just haven't had a chance to upload it due to just thinking I had more time in December than I really did and also some computer issues that I have had which are hopefully resolved now so but anyways this journal is my November journal and you can see here this is the cover that I made I did show a sneak peek of this journal in October um, so some of you may have seen that if you saw that video so here you can see that I made the cover mostly out of this vintage needlepoint that I purchased from a garage sale or something a long time ago. Um, and it was in a frame, but the frame broke, and so I decided to use it for my journal. And then I just embellished it with various odds and ends that I had laying around. This was this um, beaded trim was actually from a dress that was one of my girls when they were younger and then I have some yarn and here's some beads I'm showing you that I added to the bottom of the journal and then the front of it I embellished with some other things also here's the side you can see that the back flap kind of overlaps the edge a little bit which I liked I thought I was fine with that um, it has that definitely has that handmade quality to it so and then I used, just used a piece of yarn for the closure and here on the inside I have a pocket and these which I showed in my other video also are scans of old letters that I distressed and just slipped in the pocket for journaling and then this insert which does come out of the cover so it functions like a traveler's notebook this is a standard size insert so I could take it out and reuse the cover later if I wanted to so this journal insert was created using um, various things from my stash some old book pages and lots of trims and things like that that you'll see in washi tape and um, just tea dyed paper things that I have and um, but also a good deal of it came from a kit that Melissa from Pink Paper Peppermints um, put on for the Heart of Thanksgiving challenge that she did along with Goosekeeper Designs. And so a lot of the journaling that I did, it actually started in October. So much of the journaling that you'll see throughout the journal was from that challenge which was a four week challenge and each week there was a different prompt to journal on. The first week was on um, being thankful for spiritual gifts and then there was being thankful for, you know, listing the people in your life that you were thankful for and the physical blessings that you were thankful for. And there were also verses that accompanied each of the challenges that we could use or each of the prompts in the challenge that we could use in our journaling. So you'll see some of those verses written out throughout the journal. So here I made a little pocket on the bottom using one of the journaling cards from Melissa's kit and then also on the top is is a pocket but I didn't actually put anything in it but I could have. Um, so then on this other page I have a little letter that I printed out it was actually just some things that I'd written out in response to one of the prompts and I typed it up and put it in this envelope which is just a junk mail envelope that I embellished as you can see with some sparkly washi tape and fabric and some alpha stickers and some little bits from the kit so and then this pie is also a part of the kit and I'm trying to remember what she calls them. I can't 
remember right now, but anyways, um, I'll have her store linked below, so if you guys are interested in checking out her kits, she has a new kit right now for January, which is really cute, um, so if, if you're interested in looking at, at her shop, I'll try and remember to link that below. So here I have um, some vintage book pages, and I actually got some of my pages out of order because I didn't sew my signature together until I had embellished everything because I thought it would be easier to do it as I went along, but it made it pretty tricky to sew together, and I did get a couple pages out of order. But that's alright. I'm okay with it. So there, here you can see I used a vintage postcard as a flip out and then underneath that I have a pocket with some more journaling cards and sorry my cameras got bumped there so here on this page I collaged together a lot of various elements um, from some of her journaling, journaling cards this postcard actually had the verse that went along with week three the week three prompts and then I was writing about different people in my life that I was thankful for. On the right there I was talking about my grandparents and then on the backs of these I have some other people that I was writing about that I was thankful for. So I really enjoyed doing that and I just think meditating on all of the things that were given and being thankful for them is so important. So I, I loved taking the time to think through during um, November, think through those things, which is, you know, the time that a lot of us, a lot of us do that. But I think it's an exercise that's important to do all the time. So here I have a little picture my daughter drew for me a long time ago. I just randomly came across it and I added it into the journal so and you'll see as as the journal progresses that um, it becomes a little less elaborate as I just didn't have as much time towards the end of the month and especially around Thanksgiving um, so but that's okay the main thing is that I'm writing down my prayers and my spiritual journey and verses and thoughts um, for the month that I can look back on and just enjoying the process of doing that. So here's a page that I haven't done anything on. I was thinking I could maybe go back and add photographs from, from Thanksgiving to this section. So another thing you might notice um, if you're looking carefully in my journal, um, when I do write down my prayers, I often write Elohim instead of dear Lord or dear God or something like that. And um, so I just thought I would mention the reason that I do that really briefly, just in case some of you are not familiar with the name Elohim. Um, it is the Hebrew name or the Hebrew word for God in the Old Testament. Um, so if you were reading the Old Testament in Hebrew and it, it would be Elohim in the places where it was translated in English, God. So um, where it's translated Jehovah or where it's translated Lord in some translations, that would have been a different word. Um, in English we say Jehovah um, or sometimes Yahweh. And almost any time you have the J sound in an English name, in the Hebrew it would have been spoken as a Y sound. So um, where it would say Lord or Jehovah in an English translation, it would have more likely been Yahweh or Yahuwah in a Hebrew speaking person. That, was, that would be how they would say it. Just like Jesus in English, that's the English translation of the Hebrew name. Um, Yeshua, which is also exactly the same as the Hebrew Joshua would have also been Yeshua in, we say Joshua in English, but in Hebrew it would have been Yeshua, which is 
is kind of interesting side note, but um, Elohim is the is the the English word God. It is the Hebrew translation of the English word God, and I like using Elohim because it it's actually the the ending the im at the end of uh, any Hebrew word indicates a plural, um, and it literally translates "mighty ones." Plural is um, what it what the literal translation of it is in Hebrew. But um, so when you see in Genesis when it talks about um, God creating and it uses the plural form in English, it'll say "we" or something like that. It's because it's that word Elohim which is a plural form, a plural word in the Hebrew. So to me, I, I think of it as like, in, like speaking to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And so I like to use it in my prayer time. I don't always say Elohim, but just in case you were wondering where that came from and what that is. Um, so anyways, this is my journal and I hope you enjoyed the look through. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.